Hello, welcome. My name is Revolution Fighter, and today I'll be showing you how I built my first budget custom mechanical keyboard for under $116. Stick around to learn more, and please drop a like and sub because this took forever to do. I put a lot. I'm. Before we get started, just want to say all of the components that I'll mention will be listed in the linked in the description down below. At least, hopefully, it's down below. If you have any questions, want any keyboard tutorials, or you know, just want to say hi. Leave it down in the down. Leave it in the comments. It's greatly appreciated. So, for this build, I used the Clearlight LK Gamma K67 keyboard kit, cowl box burn orange switches, the Coral C keycap set, and some shelf liner as foam. The shelf liner was free, by the way. Wow! The Clearlight LK Gamma K67 is a semi transparent plastic 65% layout keyboard kit. It features a hot swappable, 3 and 5 pin compatible, triple mode, RGB, PCB. Oh, and it also has a knob! You can press it, you can turn it. Uh, Okay, I'll stop now. But it's a knob. With the case, PCB, plate, cord, and more taken care of in one fell sweep, I turned my gaze to the switches. As a budget option, I chose the Cal Boxburn Orange switches, which are a tactile, medium heavy weight switch, coming in at 30 cents per switch on novel keys. These switches actuate at 1.8 millimeters and bottom out at 3.6 millimeters, with a tactile force of 60 grams and a bottom out force of 70 grams. I should also clarify that these are three pin switches, which means they have to be plate mounted, which is fine because that's how you usually mount the switch. And now we're done. Look at me clacking away so happy and so oblivious as to how much more time I'm about to spend modding this keyboard. Uh... Ooh, sounds nice too. <laughs> That sounds pretty decent stock actually, but modding it will make it sound and feel even better. So uh, keyboard, disassemble! First I lube the switches, yes, keyboard people use lube, I mean like, never mind. I also lubed and band-aid modded the stabs, crushed as much foam as humanly possible with sweat and blood, uh, foam in the keyboard. And being the klutz that I am, I broke the little stemmy thingy that controls the triple mode functionality. I honestly think they could have made a better design, but I ultimately broke it in the end, so... While looping the switches, I found the box compartment in Kyle Box switches, which is in the lower housing, which I accidentally opened for a couple of the switches, and I low-key panicked because I didn't know how to put it together at first. But that that little nubbin, you see, it just kind of falls in place, and then you put the lid back on. Very scientific. Uh, by the way, for lube, I used Super Lube 21030 and 51004 as substitutes for Crytox 205G0 and 105G0, respectively. Now let's see how this baby sounds. <laughs> Pretty satisfied for the first build. Nuff said. One other small random thing, I really enjoy how I can just rest my fingers on the keycaps without activating the keys because the box burnt oranges are they just have that slight tactile just a, just a slight tactile bump. So it prevents you from accidentally pressing a key, you can rest it on there just fine. But 
it also feels like a linear because the bump is so weak when you're like actually typing fast and stuff. So it, I don't know, box burn oranges, linear tactiles? I don't know, it, it was very precise, you know, like the precision you can only get from running for your life.